question for you. What are some differences between high school and college? I'm not even talking math yet, just in general. So I hear a lot of different answers from students such as, oh, in high school you're more responsible for yourself, no one's checking in on you, but there's also a lot of great freedom to pick what time you start class. I know I personally can't even start teaching before 10 and that's even early for me. But let's look at this in a little bit deeper level. High school versus college. So in high school, you take a whole year to complete a course. Whereas in college, it's only 16 weeks. So in less than half the time, you're covering generally the same amount of information. So one of the biggest complaints that students have in terms of math is that it seems like we're going so fast because we're covering almost a chapter a week. Also in high school, generally you attend class every day, maybe you had a block schedule, and in college generally you only go about two times a week, maybe once a week. Well the thing with that is if you're not doing a subject every day, sometimes you tend to forget a little bit of it and need a little bit longer to get back on track as to what you were learning. In high school, 80% of the work is done during class, whereas in college it's considered to be done outside of class. Meaning that in high school, because you get to go so much slower since you have a whole year, you get to start your homework in class, you get to start your group project in class. But in, high, in college, generally, you're just taking lecture notes and then you're starting and doing all of the homework outside of class, which is where the information really clicks and you start to understand it. And so it spends a lot more time in a spot you're not used to. Um, in high school, especially in terms of math, your teacher can usually solve one of every type of problem. But in college, usually faculty just do one or two few foundational examples. And when you go to do that 80% of your work outside of class, you have to piece together different concepts. So you're going to come across quite a few homework problems and you're going to say, what? My teacher didn't do one of these. And they didn't do one exactly like that, but all the pieces of information you need to solve that problem come from the three examples they did solve during class. I'm sure you can think of some other differences. But when it gets to college math, aside from differences between high school and college, there's also differences between other college classes and college math classes. So let's explore that. In terms of your other classes, they may focus more on a collection of knowledge, knowing something. Who is the father of psychology? What are the three rings of government? And it's not necessarily all memorization, right? In English, you have to write a paper. But in a math course, it's focused on a practical application of a skill. You're physically doing something. So you don't need to memorize who the father of calculus is, Newton and Leibniz. But you do need to be able to solve problems and repeat that skill. In college, some courses can be absorbed passively, meaning that you don't really have to listen to the instructor's um, lecture. You can kind of just get a few key points and write your paper based on that. But in math, you're going to be actively working in each class. As a teacher is giving lecture notes, if you just passively copy down the steps to a problem but don't engage yourself in understanding them, it's really going to hurt you later. Topics are related horizontally versus vertically. And what I mean by that is in math courses, there's a very linear pattern to what's happening that you need to get step one to be able to solve step two to solve step three. And so if you don't understand chapter one, you're going to die in chapter two. Whereas horizontally related topics mean chapter one in a psychology class may have nothing to do with chapter two. You could completely memorize and understand chapters one, two, and three, not get chapter four at all, and be fine in chapter five. That rarely happens with math. So just kind of letting you know some differences to help prepare you.